Solve the identity square root property. 2x squared minus 9 equals 0. There are two steps. Step 1, isolate the perfect square. So this first one, we have to add 9 to both sides and then divide by 2. So isolate the perfect square. Check. Once your perfect square is isolated, take the square root of both sides. And, and remember, whenever you take a square root of an equation, include a plus or a minus. Just like you can't have decimals in a fraction, you can't have radical, you can't have fractions in your radical. How do you rewrite this? And that would give you? There you go. Plus or minus three, ra oh, that's not supposed to be a three. I got excited there. 3 radical 2 over 2. So isolate, take the square root. We're going to do the same process in the second one, um, except after taking the square root, we're going to have some cleanup to do. So isolate by doing what to both sides? Yep. Take the square root. We'll get plus or minus the square root of 3 fourths. What is the square root of 3 fourths cleaned up? Radical 3 over 2. And then to top off the Sunday, to solve for x, what do we have to do? Subtract 1. What you should do is put that 1, the negative 1, in fact, in front of the plus or minus. So x is negative 1 plus or minus the square root of 3 all over, well, not all over, over 2.